I do have a man, um, a new one, whose identity that I cannot reveal. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, we actually may have just uncovered Whitney Waythor's French boyfriend's identity, and you'll never believe who he is. He's been kept a secret for so long, and I couldn't believe how easily some fans figured out exactly who he was, and I have to say, I wasn't picturing this guy at all. Well, it was actually his decision, not mine, um, but it's one that I fully support, um, especially after last season, the things that went down with Chase and the abuse and harassment that he endured, which no one deserves, no matter what. Um, it, that really affected me. And I also never would have guessed that he could possibly have a connection to TLC and the production of Whitney's show. Well, anyway, guys, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's just get into this. Ten years ago, it wasn't even possible to be on the internet the way that we are now. Um, and that not everybody wants that, you know? Um, and I, you know, I had six, six weeks with him in person. Um, he was never embarrassed of anything. Uh, he's just not ready to open himself up to the ridicule that comes with being on reality TV, and I do not blame him. As we all know, Whitney Waythor has always had one of the craziest dating histories. I mean, just think about it for a second. First, there was Lenny, who cheated on her and then totally lied about it. Then there was Avi Lang, who was actually engaged to some Egyptian woman and was cheating on her with Whitney lying to everyone around him and let's not forget about her last partner Chase who proposed to her and after a few months of dating only to cheat on her and get another girl pregnant and I actually did meet up with Chase um, once during the season um, I have not spoken to him before or since um, and he gave me some interesting news and I you know wish him the best I feel very just kind of like neutrally um, about him. I mean, Whitney's definitely not had it easy with all these boyfriends. And anyway, you know, she's now with this French man and she's made it clear that, you know, she won't be revealing his identity. And obviously we were all super concerned about this because of her history with Avi Lang, because he didn't want to reveal his identity either and always kept his face blurred and he was on camera. And then it turned out that he was actually engaged. So obviously we don't want Whitney to go through anything like that again. Well, anyway, this might actually not happen this time around because we have finally figured out the French man's identity. So there wasn't a lot we knew about the French man before all of this, other than he was teaching Whitney French and that she really, really, really liked him and everything else was basically hidden. But thanks to a mistake that TLC made and some fan investigation, we now know a lot more. So what happened that led to this reveal was that his name was actually revealed in this screenshot of a Skype call during one of their tutoring sessions. And in it, you can clearly see that it says name Nail is calling. So after some digging, fans have been able to figure out that Whitney's new boyfriend is actually this French guy called Nail Rayner from Paris. I mean, it was clearly a massive mistake that his name wasn't blurred, or was it? Because actually there are some people on Reddit that have been speculating that maybe this was done on purpose so we could all figure it out. Like some kind of a stunt that would make us go crazy and really get invested in figuring out who this guy is. Now I definitely think that it is a little bit possible, but would they do something like this on purpose? Eh, I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? It definitely feels like a good way to bring more attention to the show. Plus, there are some other things that make it even more likely that this was all somewhat planned. Like, here's the deal, you guys. Nail is actually a rapper, and he used to put out videos of him rapping online, so he clearly has some aspirations for himself. But the thing that he is privated all of his videos around the time that Whitney's mystery relationship went public. And this means a couple of Thanks. First of all, it definitely seems like Nail is the guy that Whitney is dating. The timing is just way too perfect, but it also might mean that there is something bigger going on. Like, you know, this is all planned because, I mean, why would this guy who clearly wants to be a rapper suddenly delete all of his Facebook and private all of his music videos? Like, it might be that he is filming for My Big Fat Fabulous Life, but one thing, you know, I don't get is why would he be so adamant about his privacy when he clearly has some star aspirations? Like, surely it just doesn't make much sense. So why would he insist on keeping his name and face out of the show if he wants to make it as a rapper? Wouldn't it be better to put himself out there so that people might become more interested in his music? But, you know, then maybe this is all part of a plan to make himself even more interesting, at least that's according to some fan theories. Because people think that this was all, you know, an elaborate setup to help out his music career, and the mystery surrounding his identity definitely, you know, keeps him even more relevant, because now is he not only Whitney's new boyfriend, but he's Whitney's 
Ray's new mysterious boyfriend. And if that's true, and he's been doing all of this to make more of a name for himself, it does make me a bit worried for Whitney. I mean, hopefully, you know, he isn't just using her to promote himself. You know, she really seems extremely into him. So I think it would be a shame if he turned out to be just another player. We've all seen that Whitney's had enough tarot relationships over the years. But anyway, there are more things we have to talk about, like the fact that Nail appears to be Muslim. So Nail is actually an Arabic name, and his and Whitney's relationship seems to, you know, line up perfectly with her sudden interest in following Muslim accounts. Because recently, Whitney's been following a lot of Muslim Instagram accounts like Islam and Muslim and so many more. So obviously, it's not concrete at all, and I'm sure it could just be a coincidence, a very odd one, but it could be one. But doesn't that seem like even more evidence that Nail is the guy that Whitney's been dating? Like, I just think, you know, that he has this to be this mysterious French man. And it also makes me wonder if Whitney's interest in the Muslim culture will stop here or if we're going to get, you know, more of a storyline on the show. So if she and Nail continue dating, don't you think that it's kind of likely that we might be getting a conversion storyline at some point? It definitely seems like a possibility. I mean, don't you think? Well, you know, anyway, you guys, you know, back to this, his possible connection to TLC, this is honestly the craziest part of all of this. If this is true, it's really major. Now, trust me, you guys, you're not going to believe this. So here is the deal. People have been speculating that Whitney and Nail actually met when Whitney and Chase got engaged in Paris. Seriously, guys, can you believe it? I mean, we were always led to believe that this, you know, it was a coincidence that Whitney was dating a French guy after she and Chase did get engaged in Paris, but now it turns out that that might not be the case at all. So apparently, it's actually possible that Nail was actually on the film crew during Whitney and Chase's engagement, and that's because other than being a rapper, he has a background in photography and videography and even some professional credits in that area. And since they were filming the proposal in Paris, it's definitely possible that Nail ended up on the French film crew, and that's when he and Whitney first met. Now, obviously, we have no idea for sure, but I think it would make so much sense. I mean, I honestly don't know what to believe. It just seems to me like that would be way too much of a coincidence that Nail and Whitney didn't meet that way. I mean, she was in Paris filming a show, and he lives in Paris and works in videography, very, very, very easily could have lined up, and now they are dating. Now, we obviously don't know anything for sure, and it could all if he wants a you know, big, massive coincidence, but still, I just thank you guys. It's highly unlikely. I mean, come on, you guys. I mean, don't even think they probably met before all of this? Like, it does make me wonder, why are we being told that they met when he started tutoring her? Now, maybe it wouldn't look good that she's now dating a guy she met, you know, while she was still with Chase, or what is? It. I mean, do you think that she might have had a thing for him, you know, when she was still engaged or, you know, that they even might have been together back then? I mean, Whitney and Chase's engagement didn't work out because he got another girl pregnant. He was the one cheating on her. I really do not think at all that she was cheating on him to be considering how, you know, devastated she was. But I do think it is very possible that she and Nail could have hit it off as just friends, assuming he was on the filming crew during her proposal. And maybe they met back then, became friends. He started teaching her French and then they eventually got together. You know, I really don't know. There seems to be a lot of secrecy around Nail, I will say, not just about his identity, but all about, you know, everything. It's like, it definitely makes me wonder what exactly happened there and how they really got together. But anyway, guys, a lot of people have been wondering if Whitney and Nail are actually still together in present day. And at least of last month, they are definitely still dating. This information actually comes from Whitney herself because recently she was doing an assumption set Session on her Instagram stories where people told her their assumptions about her and she answered those and during this someone actually just straight up asked her if she was still with the Frenchman and she responded and she only said one word correct so it seems like they are definitely still together but that does make me wonder one thing how does their relationship even work like hear me out you guys I just can't imagine how they are still together because they're probably not even able to see each other very often between the distance and the cost of flights and all the COVID restrictions and immigration and visa issues getting in the way. I just don't know and really see how their relationship works. I mean, realistically, they can't be visiting each other all that often. So 
Is it, you know, that they just talk on Skype all the time? You know, that doesn't really feel like much of a relationship to me. I mean, you know, we all know that Whitney's done the whole long distance thing before, but I just feel like it would be even harder nowadays when it's so much more difficult to travel. In lots of countries, don't even let people in. And there's the question of the safety as well as the money. I mean, even if they are lucky and manage to find some of the cheaper plane tickets, it would still be a lot they have to pay if they wanted to even see each other at a similar, you know, semi-regularly basis. So I just don't know. I don't know, you know, how they're doing it, how any of it worked, and it definitely makes me wonder if there's any future for them, too. Plus, it all just feels a bit suspicious. They probably barely even see each other, and then there's a theory that Nail is just doing this all to gain more publicity, and some people wonder if he's actually just using Whitney. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that someone has used her, so obviously we do have, you know, to consider that as a possibility, and I'm hoping this guy is genuine, but it's like, who knows? There are definitely things that don't really make much sense at the moment, and I'm just kind of wondering how this is all going to work out. But hopefully, Nail's actually a nice guy and isn't going to hurt Whitney because she really doesn't need more of that in her life after all that happened with Chase and Lenny and Avi. I mean, don't you guys think? But anyways, that's all we know for sure. The Frenchman is a secret no more. What do you guys think of Nail? I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this, especially if you think he's genuine or not. And if you think he actually might be just using Whitney for his own personal gain, and I really hope that is not the case. But let me know in the comments below either way. Also, do you think that they may have actually met while Whitney was getting proposed to by Chase? And what would that even mean? Like, do you think that there's more drama that they're trying to hide from us or what is going on? Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please do me a huge favor at that like, follow, share, subscribe button. And y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.